This is my mushroom substrate sterilizer. It uses my homemade steam generator to heat up to near boiling point. Once the temperature hits about 95 Celsius, we leave it running for about a day. The reason we do this is to kill a very large percentage of other bacteria or mold in the substrate. So when we introduce the mycelium to it, it doesn't have to compete against any other organisms. Do this with enough bags and you can grow quite a lot of mushrooms. And once they're fully colonised, they are ready to fruit. That there is a spate. Nothing like cold beer on a hot day. Anyway, have a look at this team. This is the most we've ever squeezed into our steriliser. There is just shy 500 kgs of substrate in there, 475 kilos to be precise, about 85 bags worth. Um, so we've got it loaded up and we're going to run it. We're going to put this all, we're going to put my wee steam generator I've made here to work. You can see it's sitting here, I still haven't covered it properly, but it's working great, so I'm not too concerned. This is going to have to heat up all of this, alright? So it's got its work cut out for it. So how much energy do you think this is going to eat up? It's about 110 megajoule, I believe. I did some calculations. So we've got to get 110 megajoule out of our wee homemade steamer unit down there. Now is this possible? Yeah, absolutely. It just takes a while. So I'll grab a beer and I'll go inside and we'll probably run some numbers and we'll see just how long it's going to take to heat all this substrate up. So we can calculate how long it's going to take my wee boiler outside to heat up our substrate to that 95 degree mark. So if we look at the board here, we'll take you through this nice and quick. We've got 475 kgs of wet substrate in my steriliser there. 285 kg of that is water, 190 kg of that is soy hull and wood. Now for the purpose of this, we're just going to assume that the soy hull has the same heat capacity as the wood, over here, the heat capacity of water is 4.2 kilojoules a kilogram uh, degree, and the wood heat capacity is 1.76 kilojoules per kg degree. So we can calculate this. We need to shift our substrate from 18 degrees, which I'm just taking a guess the substrate's at about 18 degrees. It's quite hot here today to 95 degrees. That's just shift of 77 degrees. So we can figure out how much joules we need in there by going 77 times the weight over the uh, kilojoules per kilogram degree um, and it equals our answer. So 77, 2.85 kilograms times 4.2 kilojoules equals 92,169 kilojoules or 92.12 megajoules. Now we can do the same for the wood slash soy hull um, and it's just 77 times 190 times the heat capacity 1.76 and that equals 25,748 kilojoules or 25.75 megajoules. So the total is 117.87 megajoules. Right, so that's how much heat we need to get in to the steriliser to heat up that wood from 18 to 95 degrees C. So we need that much megajoule to move the sub, that much substrate from 18 to 95. Now my element is a 2.5 kilowatt element, which gives me 2.5 kilojoules per second, which equals 9 megajoules per hour. And we can simply then divide this by 9 megajoules per hour, and it gives us... 13.09 or 13.09 hours. So it's going to take my wee element, my wee 2.5 kilowatt element, 13 hours to heat my substrate up from 18 to 95 degrees. But I have a little trick up my sleeve to speed this process up. Here's my wee boiler down here, my wee steam generator. I shouldn't really call it a boiler. The element that's in there is 2.5 kilowatt. This is 4.5 kilowatt, and here is a 4.5 kilowatt relay. So I'm going to wire this in. You can actually put two elements in this, but I'm just going to run one larger one through a larger relay. But how much time will that take off the heat up? Well, we can actually calculate that as well. So instead of a 2.5 kilowatt element, we're going to put in a 4.5 kilowatt. 
4.5 kilowatt element gives us 4.5 kilojoules a second or 16.2 megajoules an hour. Now that takes the time to heat up from 13.09 hours down to 7.2 hours. That means we can heat up roughly half a tonne of substrate from 18 to 95 degrees centigrade, degrees Celsius, and it's 7.2 hours. Now that's probably worth it. That's taking or near on six hours off that heat up time. And if we add more elements, we can get that down even further. It's all about getting energy into that tank to heat up that substrate. Once it's at temperature, it doesn't need as much energy to keep it there. It simply turns the element on and off, just putting in just enough steam to account for the energy losses uh, through the insulation. But my insulation on that, on that tank is pretty good, so it's pretty efficient. Once it's at temperature, we can see how long it needs to run for by looking at this light here. When it turns on, it goes to green, it means the steam is on. When it turns off, it means the steamer turns off. So you can see by this that once the steam tank is at temperature, it only really needs to run for about 3 to 4 seconds out of every 20 seconds. So that's not using much power.